we work on um, land dynamics and on rural dynamics in Central Africa, in Rwanda, Congo and, uh, and Burundi. And we look particularly at how global and uh, regional turbulences in, in connection with policies interact with people's livelihoods on the ground. So we look basically at the lives of farmers, women and men, and how they deal with the challenges that are pushed upon them. Um, and that they confront themselves in a, in a changing world. Um, I think in our project, the way in which we engage with RRI um, objectives and, and, and principles is first of all, um, we really work as a team. Um, it's very important, the teamwork, because it's often the, the face of the professor and the promoter that gets the, the, the attention, but it's really part of a, a teamwork in which there's um, scholars from both the North and the South engaged. Um, that leads to a very self-reflexive approach to never take anything for granted and to continuously rethink what we're doing and whether that makes sense to the local setting. And then at the same time to really engage very actively with actors on the ground, and those actors are not just civil society organizations or policymakers, but particularly also the men and women on whom we're doing our research and with whom we're doing our research, to really engage them actively in our research and not just consider them as information barriers or a kind of people who from whom we have to extract information, but really partners in our research project. Research ethics is not about good practices or about a, a checklist that we get, can go through. It's about many shades of grey that we have to deal with. And we have to deal with that, with the participants involved. So it's really important to, to make them part of the project, to give them a voice in your project and to engage very actively with them. For me, it's not so much the African context as such, but it's the context in which we're dealing with people who have gone through war, who are going through violent experiences, and to think about how to engage ethically with those people. Um, those questions are very hard because you can think about how you do your research and what types of things you publish, but the context continuously changes. And so things that can be very sensible, sensible at some point in terms of research ethics, when there's a power shift, things can change. And that can change the whole research setting, but also the way in which your research results are interpreted, are instrumentalized. So you have to continuously really think hard about what you're doing, dealing with the shades of grey, dealing with the good things you did, but also with the mistakes you've made, and to not try to hide them under the carpet.